Hello everyone, this is Nusrat. I'm a hacker and I'm also a fitness enthusiast. I would like to share with you my story of how I found my first bug bounty. And that is always a moment of celebration. I mean, those of you who are there, you know what the first bounty feels like. Well, beginning with how I started, I was never really into hacking, but I found it really interesting around 2018. But okay, I won't bore you, don't worry. I'll just say it like a minute or two because I think it's kind of consistent with the story. So I, I was always into it. I also took up the course, but I could never really spend time on it because of my job, because I was working at an office and you know what happens. There is hardly any time to do anything else. However, during the pandemic last year, I really got the time to just stay home, work from home, and also spend more time to my passion, you know, really sharpen those skills. Uh, I'm still learning, by the way. I'm not really the best hacker yet. I want to. However, I it took me a few months to really find a bounty or to really find my first valid bug. And it was from Facebook. So um, it was a really interesting. It was a really interesting story, and I, I think you might find something relatable. So how did I find that bug? Well, as you can see, it's not easy to find a bug in Facebook because there are like thousands and thousands of really skilled, really you know, leveled up researchers, hackers, always working on it, always fixing things. And, but I was really adamant, you know, I had to find a bug in Facebook or anywhere. I was looking for it everywhere. And um, I, I think I was looking for it in more technical terms, you know, I was looking for XSS and obviously those are not in Facebook. Uh, but later I, I thought about changing my strategy. I thought about uh, doing it in a different way, in, in the sense of more logistic stuff. I was thinking that, hmm, you know, I think I have done a lot of digging with uh, looking for bugs, which are pretty common. So why not try something a bit interesting? And that's when I thought, okay, let me look at the functionalities. Let me look at how something works, what happens when we send a message, what happens when someone becomes an admin of a page. And I went through all the pages that I was an admin of and I realized that, hey, there is a page that I got myself out of that I was no longer an admin of and I still was having admin rights. I was having the admin privileges. So I decided that, hey, this this is not how it should be, right? I, I can send messages to any of their clients, although that page was not an e-commerce site, however, it was still a big deal. I could post on their behalf and I could also delete the page on their behalf. So I immediately sent the report to Facebook around September and they sent me a message back that this is a valid report. But it took some time, it took a few days and in October 2, they sent me my first bounty and I was so happy, I was so relieved, I cannot express that. Of course, that's when I really began my book bounty journey and I'm still working on my skills. I'm still working hard and uh, I guess the story, I mean, the moral or you know, the lesson we can all take away from here is that we, we could always try a unique approach, you know. We could try to think differently and we could try to look at things from a way others will not look at, you know. It doesn't always have to be the common bugs or the common strategies. Of course, those are really important and we should always try and invest our time in learning and practicing those. But I also think that it's really important that you also take your time to do something different because you never know what happens. <laughs> I never did. And uh, if you like this story, let me know below. Let me know in the comments. And if you think that uh, you would want me to share something, do let me know. This is my uh, this is my first post, you can say, and this is my really new YouTube channel. So if you want to stay, uh, you can subscribe to me, and I'm really grateful to you for spending your time with me. Thank you so much. Take care.